Yo, what's going on guys? It's Kamikaze here. Welcome back to another video and today we have a very good video to give you guys after the uh, little scandal that's going on around this the chip gems thing. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna touch the topic. I'm just gonna say that I'm not involved in uh, all this so I'm fine. My account is fine and um, yeah, so the Blitz battle is coming up which is the event to kind of drift you guys away from all the scandal and give you guys something to to play around. Um, mainly because the game has been dead for three days now. Pretty much all the content has come out, it's old content. And uh, most of us have already farmed it, so there's not really much to do. And if we click on the damn bird here, we're going to see uh, two things I'm going to talk about. The Suga Fest and the uh, Blitz Battle. So first thing we're going to do is click on the Suga Fest banner. And the Suga Fest is going to be divided in two parts, being the total um, duration from September 6th all the way to September 11th. And the Suga Fest uh, features the new GARP that's global exclusive, which, uh, spoiler, is uh, not a good unit, but you guys can check that out later. Um, and it's also going to feature the new limited Hancock and new limited Whitebeard. So, those are the rated up units for this Sugo Fest. The first part is going on through the 6th of September all the way to 8th of September, so it's two days. And then the uh, second part is the 8th of September all the way to 11th of September, so again two days. So you guys can uh, pull whenever you want. I do not recommend you guys to pull this. Um, I mean, if you were saving gems for the next Sugo Fest, the next, big, the next big one, don't pull all this one. Um, I much rather pull on the treasure modes on the treasure map Sugo Fest that's coming on after this one I'm pretty sure right after so if you guys are pulling are trying to save the gems don't pull for this one It's not really worth it uh, As I said the new garp is not that good and if you guys don't have a Kainu or Okiji I mean you guys can try your luck, but it's not the best Sugo Fest to do so All the information about the pulls are on the uh, screen right now and as far as for uh, the uh, the rated, the rated uh, legends we have for part one we have the new garb obviously we have Akainu, we have v2 shanks uh we have v2 aokiji psyche zaru zengoku Corazon, and magellan and for part two we have the new garb v2 aokiji v2 dofi v2 fuji v2 akainu v1 akainu i mean uh psyche zaru shiroshi and v2 Hancock. And I think that's pretty much about it. Uh, all the five stars again are the same ones, except for the uh, limited time Hancock and Whitebeard. And with that, we're gonna jump through um, the news feed here and click on the main event of the evening, which is the Blitz Battle. So the Blitz Battle consists on fighting Elkiji or Akainu. It's already happened on Japan, so you guys can check out videos online from Zinigami or any other content creators so you guys have an idea of uh, what it is and the event is going through September 8th all the way to September 10th and this way this the way this works is you guys fight a certain character either Akainu or Aokiji you can fight both but I recommend you guys focus on one and uh, focus on the one that's being uh, done the most by the community so there's gonna be a leaderboard that you guys can check out uh, the amount of points uh, going towards Aokiji or Akainu and I'd recommend you guys to go uh, to the one that is uh, assuming more points. So I'd recommend you guys for go go for Akainu because I mean Aokiji because everyone's gonna fight Aokiji because in a way it's easier. Um, but check the leaderboards and see what's going on on global. And uh, the way that the points work is every time you defeat either Aokiji or Akainu, you're gonna contribute points towards the community event. And you're gonna get yourself rewards. So the drops that you can get from this are Almighty Manuals, which is pretty good. You might get Cotton Candy as well. It's not said. It's not said here, but I'm pretty sure that's one of the rewards as well. And when the event is over, you're gonna get a free Legend Pool during the uh, current Suga Fest banner, which is gonna be the Garp Suga Fest. So you're gonna have a chance to get the new character or any other Legend that is rated boosted, which is pretty cool. You're gonna also have special requests from Chopperman, which means extra rewards, which means another excuse for you to farm this, which, because it's really good. Um, and for the uh, last part of here of the uh, of the event, you're gonna have half stamina, which for the European players like myself is gonna be really bad because this is during the night. 
um, so our sweeping schedules are not linked or are not in synchronized uh, I mean with this so either you guys fuck up your sweeping schedule like I'm gonna try to do or um, there's no half stamina for us which sucks but it is what it is and then for the last part here we're gonna have the exclusive power-up characters which are going to include the limited time Hancock, <coughs> sorry, Hancock and Whitebeards, as well as V2 Akainu and V2 Okiji, and as well as the new Garp um, from the uh, current Suga Fest. All these units are going to have a 1.75 times attack, or all the stats boosted, I mean, and the special charge uh, reduced by 10 turns. And then uh, all the uh, rare recruits from the last Suga Fest, which are brand new Inas and Goku and Shanks, are going to have. All the stats boosted by 1.5 times and the uh, special time uh, reduced by 7 turns. And then all these units that I'm not going to read because it's a lot of them, which is basically all the marines and all the people uh, that were connected to the marines at some time, some point, I guess, are uh, going to have the, um, the stats boosted by 1.2 times and the special charge reduced by 4 turns. So you guys can check this out on the news feed. It's a really good event um, to give Global some attention and um, to give ourselves some almighty manuals and a free pool, basically. So it's really good. Farm it, check the leaderboards, check who's winning and focus on that. You can, I, I didn't say this, if you, don't, if you guys don't have a good enough team to farm this, but if you guys manage to squeeze um, um, a win in either Akainu or Okiji, that's enough. If for example, you kill Akainu, or I'm gonna say Aokiji because that's what I want you guys to do. If you kill Aokiji once and Aokiji loses, basically, if Akainu gets more points, even if you only did that once, you're gonna get the full rewards as long as that team wins. So if you guys don't have a good enough uh, team to, excuse me, to uh, farm this, that it only takes one win. So just do it, try and do it. Jam it if you want, um, and you're gonna get the full rewards if that team wins. So it's very worth it. That's it for me, guys. If you guys enjoyed, uh, subscribe because I'm gonna do the guides for Akainu and Aokiji, and also I'm gonna do the, the guides for uh, Rayui, which I haven't done. It's one of the raids that I'm missing. Uh, the Neo Sabu you guys have on my channel already, and uh, I'm gonna go into this so much that I really want to farm this as much as I can. That's it for me guys, I'm Kamikaji, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.